Do you want this quality? Is this the quality you want right here? I just do Let's Plays mostly of Pokemon. The occasional top 10, I guess, you know. Last year, maybe every once a year I'll make a top 10. But mostly Let's Play channel, so. I guess just watching people, like, I was a lot younger, I guess, watching Let's Plays myself, and I just liked watching them. So I wanted to do them myself, and then I just got into it that way. But back then, like, there weren't obviously as many people doing the same thing but it's kind of a smaller group so it was kind of weird that I found that whole community but I just played a lot of Pokemon so it made sense I guess that I found it eventually. I mean I guess once you have an AdSense account and once you're partnered on YouTube which you can do through YouTube itself or like with one of these networks I guess or MCNs yeah you just get partnered and you can start making money in his pretty simple like once you have the account you just click and you can place ads on your videos uh, you can do different types of ads too like you don't have to choose to put you know the 30 second ones but a lot of people I don't know there's like a automated system you can do too a lot of people just do that so I don't know I definitely try to make two videos a day but it really depends on like the time like since I'm based on Pokemon, like when the new Pokemon game comes out, I have to make a lot of videos on it, a lot more than like usual. So I'll try to at least keep uploading one video a day, but sometimes I'll slack off on that too. So, you know, I'll try to do at least daily videos, I would say. I would say I, it will definitely wear out at some point, but I could see myself if I had to doing it for another 10 years, you know. Um, maybe transitioning into something else to do with video games because that has always been my passion as well before I did YouTube it was always to like animate or design games so I think the influence on YouTube too like people actually take that seriously now social media as well so it can definitely be like on a resume or something like that and or at least help with um, certain job experiences uh, Yo, he actually opened it, man. I mean, we got here. And, and yo, on it too, man. Not gonna be happy. This is important, dude. What is this? Some Japanese candy. This some company sent me to try out in our video. Do you like them? No, dude. I don't know. What the? I look. I tried a sangria or whatever. Nasty. I should maybe put it in the fridge. Sangria. You didn't put it in the fridge. You want to taste it better? This is supposed to be like a, a York. Let's try this one. Some fire, bro. This is fire. Banana chips. What? Yo, this is pretty good. Yeah, some are, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like banana yeah, though. Yeah, you should try it. It's not bad. Oh, oh. I create Zelda videos, mainly walkthroughs, and I also like to do other types of videos that relate to that sort of video game, which is all Zelda. So like discussions and uh, news about like the upcoming games and stuff. But in general, my channel is based around the franchise, The Legend of Zelda.
I feel like it's obvious for most people who do it, but if you don't do it, it might not make much sense. A lot of people think subscribers and likes are what get you money, but it's not that at all. It's the views. You get like a certain rate and it can fluctuate uh, depending on how much the advertisers are willing to spend uh, during that month. So like during December or like festive holiday type months, you can get a lot more revenue per your views because the, um, the advertisers are willing to pay a lot lot more. It needs to be auto focus or it needs to focus. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll focus it. I'll focus it right now. My content is primarily focused on Nintendo gaming, so pretty much anything Nintendo related. I saw a guy doing uh, what I'm doing and I thought that I could do it so I ended up copying him and doing it. So essentially uh, you have advertisements that are placed on your videos and depending on how many views that video gets you get paid a certain percentage of whatever ad revenue was generated on that video so it all depends on how much views you get. Oh, what? Are uh, you ready for the questions, Rod? Alright, let's go real quick. Yo. I run a gaming channel where I play a bunch of Nintendo stuff, such as Pokemon, Mario, you know, those sorts of things. up as a hobby because I played a lot of games as a kid and then I realized that it had potential so I dedicated a lot of time to it and it happened to turn into a career until it's not making money like I will continue to do it for as long as I can it's the best job you could ever have it's on your time like it's amazing it's a blessing like I can't ima I can't believe I'm doing this. If I told myself like when I was 12 or 13, like barely getting an hour or two on the computer like to play RuneScape and stuff, and if I told myself like, man, hey, someday, dude, you're gonna get paid to play games on the computer whenever you want. That's gonna be your job. I would have literally lost my mind. I would have been like, you're insane. Like what? You're a psycho. What are you talking about? Pretty sure we just missed our exit.